My name is Archbishop Tabo Makoba. Let us say the collect for the week together. God of hope and joy, you sent John the Baptist to announce the coming of your son. Inspire all who serve in your church to prepare for his coming through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us listen to a portion of Psalm 34. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel according to Matthew, the 21st chapter, beginning from the 28th verse. What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said the same, and he answered, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. As some of you may know, uh, today is a very special day in my life. I turn 60. I'm grateful to God all these years. As I celebrate this milestone of the sexagenarians, I also pause to think of the beautiful memories that I spent for the 40 years of the first 40 years or 39 years of my life with my twin sister and Tabi saying, Dobi Dobi Sikebe Edu. I offer special prayers to her three sons and to Barnard Lechayev, 
their father. Ntabi Singh died shortly after I was elected Bishop South African of Grahamstown. And so today we would have probably parted because she was quite a wild thing. And um, she, she loved life. She was larger than life. And as I share these reflections today, I offer to God her memories that have carried me throughout these many years. I thank God that I was raised with a dear friend, a different friend, a sibling who I had come to know that she was a part, a greater part of me. She was more an extrovert. She was blunt. And today's story in the gospel actually makes me to smile. Because Ntabi Seng would readily say, oh, no, 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 I will go, sir. And after agreeing, will come back to me and say, um, you know these things, just go and do them. And um, an account that both of us have done the tasks. Now to all those that are celebrating their birthdays uh, today, all those that are celebrating their anniversaries, and like I said yesterday on our 29th wedding anniversary, those that have lost loved ones during this season, let us never forget to bless the Lord all the times. Let us never forget to ensure that his praises are continually in our lives, in our mouths, and in our hearts. Please look after yourselves. The president has spoken last night. Let us look after ourselves. Let us look after our neighbors. Let us ensure that in whatever we do this Christmas tide, it is in order to bring honor and glory. It is an opportunity to say with our lives, with our actions, or taste and see that the Lord is good and happy are those who take refuge in him. Once again, thank you for your wonderful messages yesterday and for the lovely eats and gifts, uh, the flowers uh, that we received. God bless you. As I prepare another day of enjoyment with family and, uh, and thanksgiving to God. Thank you.